My name is Heinrich Himmler. I was born on October 7, 1900 in Munich, Germany. Growing up, I wasn't good at sports or popular, but I was an intelligent student, knowing more than my teachers about the German military. I left high school early in 1918 to join the military and fight in World War I. But while training, the war ended, and I saw no action. I went to college and earned a degree in agriculture. I married my wife, Margaret Bowden, in 1928, who had hairy and crop qualities that I was attracted to. Getting involved in World War II, I joined the SS and quickly rose in the ranking, becoming righteous Fuhrer SS, meaning that I was Hitler's personal bodyguard. Then I was born into the head of the Bavarian political case and get Stalin, and the leader of the SS, allowing me to appoint anyone to be part of the political police. I, I also controlled all the concentration camps. I had endless power, both with the police and controlling the Holocaust. I couldn't take the sight of death, but ordered millions to die inside a concentration camps. Since Germany was losing the war, I tried contacting, I tried contacting White Eisenhower, who was, who was the general of the United States, to surrender. I tried doing it behind Hitler's back, but he found out and I was stripped of all my power and expelled from the Nazi party in a document signed by Hitler on April 29, 1945, and Hitler committed suicide the next day. Without Hitler, Germany soon surrendered, and I fled Berlin disguised with eye patch and my mustache shaved. I got captured by the British and was in their custody, but quickly committed suicide by writing a capsule of cyanide that I had hidden inside my mouth. It poisoned me, and I died on May 23rd, 1945. My last words were, I am, I am Heinrich Himmler, now the second most powerful person during World, world War II.